this video will be presented under the following headings. The Cleaver Woods Recreation Park is located at the town of Arima, Trinidad, at the following latitude and longitude, with an elevation of 70 meters above sea level. Temperature at Cleaver Woods Recreation Park may be considered typical for the country as there is little variation and rainfall however varies from between 2000 to 2700 millimeters annually. Within the Cleaver Woods Recreation Park is a stream that flows from a north to south direction. The vegetation of the Cleaver Woods Recreation Park consists of seasonal evergreen forests. Components of the physical environment previously mentioned dictate the vegetation found here. Some of the trees found here include silk cotton, pui, among other trees. Animals can also be found in a Cleaver Woods Recreation Park, including birds such as as well as fungi, which are neither animals nor plants. Some of the human components of the Cleaver Woods Recreational Park include a security boot, a car park, trails, palm and wooden huts, benches, swings, toilet facilities, water tanks, bins, man-made drains, fencing, surrounding human components around the Kibosh Recreational Park include residential development, commercial development such as this hardware or this sawmill factory, the Eastern Main Road which dissects the three portions of the Kibosh Recreational Park, Cleaver Road, as well as a pan yard. There are various uses and benefits of the Cleaver Woods Recreational Park. However, these may impact on the park itself. Some uses of the Cleaver Woods Recreational Park include recreational activities. Cultural heritage, including historic Amerindian artifacts, educational activities such as university field trips. Some of the benefits of the Cleaver Woods Recreational Park include 
carbon sequestration cultural heritage site a site for recreation aesthetics job opportunities business opportunities for those visiting the park in addition other benefits include contributing to the country's gdp from tourists coming to the island to visit the Kegel woods recreational park based on the description of the environment the use and benefits of the Kegel woods recreational park i will now describe the impacts to Kiva Woods Recreational Park by the human component and its subsystems, particularly with regards to the interactions involved with the biophysical component. The Eastern Main Road contributes to impacts such as impaired air quality and increased noise levels. Drainage runs along the Clevo Woods Recreational Park and the Eastern Main Road. The Eastern Main Road may contribute to impacts such as impaired water quality, solid waste disposal, and Impacts to water quality from the eastern main road may have cascading effects towards the vegetation makeup of the Cleaver Woods Recreational Park by altering the riparian vegetation community structure. In addition, freshwater fish may also be impacted. Loss of freshwater fish may alter the community structure of the river and other species. Pollution from drains along Cleaver Road may also contribute to impaired water quality in the streams downstream. The panyard on the edge of the Cleaver Woods Recreational Park may contribute to increased noise levels. Littering by persons entering the park may also contribute to impacts to the bio biophysical component of the Kiva Woods Recreational Park. This may also be seen on the edges of the park along the Eastern Main Road. Here, the Eastern Main Road is an easy access point for littering. Habitat fragmentation as a consequence of trails in the Cleveland Recreational Park results in impacts to biodiversity within the park. Though the Eastern Main represents the main barrier between the two portions of the Cleveland Recreational Park, Fencing along the edges of the park also represent another barrier to terrestrial animals moving. To conclude, this chart shows a summary of the impacts to the Cleaver Woods Recreational Park by human subsystems. Firstly, the human subsystems include the Eastern Main Road and vehicle traffic, residential homes, commercial businesses, panyard and the anthropogenic features of the Cleaver Woods Recreational Park. The main impacts from these subsystems include habitat fragmentation, impaired water quality, 
alteration to drainage flow, impaired air quality, and increased noise levels. The interactions and processes involved with the biophysical environment include alterations to aquatic and terrestrial flora and fauna community structure, loss of vegetation results in a decrease in carbon sequestration contributing to climate change, also loss of vegetation may impact on water quality parameters, for example temperature and pH can dictate aquatic community structure. Exhaust emissions contribute to greenhouse gases by increasing mean temperature. Disturbance of wildlife may cause animals to disperse, especially those that are not sedentary, away from the Clay Woods Recreational Park. This may result in reduced genetic variability, which alters population structure.